Imagine for a moment that the clothing you're wearing right now suddenly shrunk five sizes. It'd be pretty hard to breathe or move around or do much of anything, right? <laughs> you would not be happy uh, and you would wonder what the heck is going on and want somebody to get your clothing back to its normal size. Hey guys, I'm Alicia from abilitymastery.com and I want to let you in on what feels like some insider info about this stuff called fascia and the role it's playing in pain, rewiring your brain, <laughs> preventing injuries and optimization. Because chances are you are in fact walking around right now with fascia that has shrunk anywhere from two to five sizes. And that is why you're feeling achy, dull, heavy, maybe you're in pain right now, or you're prone to injury. If you wanna make the most of this life and feel your best, then you've got to learn a little bit about this thing called fascia, and I wanna help you maximize what you know about it and how to address it to live your best life. If that sounds awesome, then give me a thumbs up and share in the comments. Everything I'm about to share with you did not come from a classroom, a textbook, or a teacher even. It came from direct experience healing my own trauma rewiring my brain and fixing knee pain that I had that was so bad I couldn't run for eight years or hike for six. And now I can do whatever I want. I can climb mountains, I can run, I can even run downhill and I don't have knee pain anymore. And it's come from a decade of experience working with people in pain since 2008 using the method of fascial release I've developed called kinetics. So what the heck is fascia? If you wanna see someone ripping apart a chicken breast or dissecting a dead body, to show you what fascia is, there are plenty of videos around the internet for that. This is not one of them. Imagine you're in my office and you're about to have your very first session with me. I would ask you if you know what fascia is. And most people these days have a vague idea and I imagine you're here because either you've heard of it and you know a little bit and you wanna learn more, or maybe you've just heard of it and you know nothing, but you're curious. So what is fascia? Well, it wraps every single nerve ending in our bodies. It wraps every single muscle fibril, which is uh, the tiniest piece of muscle fiber we have, and then every fiber of muscle, which is made up of multiple little fibrils. It wraps the muscle bundle and the muscle group, and all of that comes out of the musculature and turns into tendon and ligament, which is also fascia, just a denser version, and that attaches to our bones. It also wraps our bones and it wraps our organs. So it is literally everywhere. We have more fascia than anything else in the body. And I've heard it said, though I don't know that anybody's proven this, <laughs> that if, I, if you were to take out right now your bones, organs, and muscles, everything basically except your fascia, you would still look like you. People would be able to recognize you because fascia is the thing that gives us our shape and texture. Now, that analogy I gave you at the beginning of this video is not unlike if your naked body was a piece of muscle fiber or a fibril of muscle tissue. Your clothing is like the fascia. And we want that clothing to feel good and spacious, right? And be able to walk around and move in it. Now, another analogy I can give you would be, imagine an electrical wire. The coating around the wire is kind of like the fascia. It allows that wire to conduct electricity. And this is very much like how fascia wraps our nerve endings. And the fascia has a very special connection to the nervous system. And this is what allows us to actually use the body to rewire the brain. So fascia really gives us our physical shape and texture. But what gives the fascia that physical shape and texture are our habits, our sports, the thoughts we think, and the emotions we feel starting from when we're young and of course moving into adulthood up to now. Now we're all born with healthy fascia that is fluid, elastic, able to move with us through life. This is why kids can jump off trees and jump off roofs, and even fall on their heads and they recover really quickly, right? And this is why we all ignore and take for granted the state of our bodies as we move into adulthood until we get smacked upside the head with pain. Am I right? So when we're kids and as we're growing up, we're shaping our fascia with our habits, the way we sit, the way we stand, any sports we have, but also the thoughts we think and the emotions we feel and anything traumatic that happens to us psychically, emotionally, or physically. And then as we age, 
the fascia starts to lose that elasticity. It becomes more brittle, uh, dehydrated. It can tear more easily. It starts to shrink. <laughs> and that's that metaphor I gave you. And then suddenly everything inside our body, everything that fascia wraps, can't do its job efficiently. So that's nerves, blood flowing through the body, muscle fibers gliding like they're supposed to so we can move with ease. If you feel heavy and dull and achy on a daily basis, this is likely because your fascia is dehydrated, brittle, and feeling dense and heavy. It's meant to feel light and buoyant and we can literally spring through life when our fascia is healthy. And the really cool thing is we can actually reverse the health of fascia to a youthful stage uh, when we use effective fascia release. So we can actually give fascia back what it needs to be fluid, to be supple, to be elastic and move with us again. So how do you know if fascia is healthy or not? Well, healthy fascia won't hurt at all when compression is applied. So if you're getting a massage or if you're on a foam roller or if someone is stepping on you, like me if you're in my office, that fascia would not hurt at all if it's healthy. So if you're in my office getting stepped on, if you're on a foam roller or getting a massage and it hurts, then that is a sign your fascia is unhealthy. Now, I wish I could work on you. I wish I could work on everybody because the results I've gotten in my private practice have blown my mind. But this is why I'm teaching what I do and this is why I'm here on YouTube, hopefully imparting some of this knowledge onto you so you can take action in your own, own life. So if you're gonna take action on everything I'm talking about today, then make sure to tell me in the comments and hit the thumbs up. So what does fascia need to get healthy if it's unhealthy? Well, the primary thing it needs is space. So remember that metaphor at the beginning of the video, like your clothing shrunk five sizes? Well, we need to get that clothing back to its original shape and size. Well, how do we do that? We need compression and movement-based fascial release or fascial stretching. In my opinion, this is the number one fast way to change fascia. There are other ways, they're just a little slower in my experience. So if you were in my office, well, I would be about to step on you with my body weight, sometimes my full body weight, which means 150 pounds. Not always, but sometimes. And what we do when we compress that fascia with that much weight and then you perform movement is we're shearing those fascial fibers with a lot of force, which they actually need to change. Fascia is almost as strong as steel cable. So that's kind of crazy to me. It's very, very, very strong and it will not change easily. You need to recruit the fascia itself and you need to recruit the nervous system. And that is done through active participation by you if you want to change your own body. Now, if you have unhealthy fascia, don't fret. Most of us do as adults because we haven't learned to take care of it starting when we're young. Hindsight, right? <laughs> If you're ready to get started right now, then make sure to tell me in the comments so I know you're committed to doing that. I know I am. Sometimes I slack, but I always come back to that practice. So we could be here all day nerding out about fascia and the nervous system and pain patterns and on and on. But what I most wanna share with you today is the role that fascia plays in pain and pain relief. So because fascia wraps everything in our soft tissue structure, and that attaches to our bones, and because it wraps every nerve ending, it has a profound effect on our alignment, any joint alignment, as well as the spine, and it has profound effects for nerves and nerve communication, and we can end up with anything from plantar fasciitis to knee pain, low back pain, hip pain, spine issues, neck pain, shoulder issues, I mean, you name it, when fascia becomes dehydrated, shrinks, doesn't allow blood to flow, doesn't allow those nerves to communicate. It can irritate joints, it can pull on them, it can irritate nerves, uh, and it can cause so many things. So this is actually great news because we can do something about this. So by reversing that process and actually giving fascia back the space it needs, those nerves stop being irritated, the joints stop being irritated, all those itises start feeling better. If our alignment is off, we can correct it by correcting the fascial imbalances and putting that fascia back into its spacious fluid state. Now, most of my clients get completely out of pain in one to three sessions because this work that I'm doing is so powerful and I want that for you too. You're not gonna get quite that result working on your own with 
foam rollers and lacrosse balls, but you can absolutely get yourself out of pain. So now that you know a little bit about this thing called fascia, I want you to take action. I want you to experience how amazing effective fascia release can be, even if you're not in pain, but especially if you are. And if I had to pick only one technique to give everybody in the Western world, no matter if you have plantar fasciitis or knee pain or hip pain or an alignment issue or neck pain or shoulder issues, it would be my quad and quad hip flexor kinetics partner technique. It is so powerful because it is the number one thing that affects our pelvis. And if the pelvis gets out of alignment in any way, it can affect everything downstream and everything upstream. So I would love for you to give it a try and then come tell me how you feel after because I have a feeling you'll feel very different in a very good way. So we're going to link below to where you can enter your email address and get that technique emailed to you instantly. So make sure to click that link below. If you liked this video, then please give me a thumbs up here. Share in the comments what your favorite part about this video was. And of course, if you liked it a lot, then share it with your friends and family so they can benefit from this information as well. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notified of new videos. They go out every single week. As always, I hope you're learning to trust your body so you can adventure through life with confidence. See you next time.